Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bing. I'm a photo and video maker. Yeah, I know it's been a while. Again, I'm a lazy guy. But I just noticed that recently I'm getting more and more subscribers. So if you are one of them, I just want to thank you for your support. Thank you very much. Maybe you already heard of the new DJI Mini SE. It's about to come in. Someone spotted in the Walmart as usual. I will make a review once I get one, but in today's video, I want to share with you my 7 months experience with the DJI Mini 2. Let's get started! So the first thing I want to talk about is the build quality. It has the same body design as the previous version and they all weigh 249 grams. It's a minimum weight that you can fly without any registration or license in most countries. But it doesn't mean that you can fly without limits. We will talk about this later. It's not the level you can call it robust, but it's lightweight and it feels tough. The shell is made by high quality plastic. These arm hinges, they are strong and tight. Battery door holds well. And I absolutely love these design details. They make this little drone very cool. It's so tiny that you can literally put it in your pocket but the controller size is a drawback. I hate it because it's bigger than the drone itself, but the meanwhile, I love it so much because it's so well made, so well designed, it's so beautiful. And I love the design of the new phone holder. Of course, they both look amazing. They are very beautiful product. I think they are both art pieces. Flying performance. So in the good weather, it is very steady like a rock. And the image looks like you're shooting on a tripod in the air. So most beginners will be shocked by the stability of this little drone. The motors have been enhanced. Now it can fly faster and it can balance well in the level 5 wind. However, the strong wind will give you a steady image, shorter battery life, and unnecessary risk. So I strongly suggest you to never fly in the wind weather, even if it's level 5 wind or below. This footage shot in the windy weather. As you can see, here are some jittery and wobble. I believe it's the best it can do. The control is very responsive and smooth. And the video transmission is always great. I have never seen a glitch or noise on the screen. In case you don't know yet, the video transmission range is 10 kilometers compared to two kilometers of the previous version. I don't have the balls to do the max range test and it's also illegal to fly without your direct sighting, but it's good to have it. It's good to know that you can fly 10 kilometers away. It can be very useful in some emergency situation. It had 31 minutes flying time. It's much more than I need. I only take a few drone shots for my YouTube videos just to add some interesting perspective, you know. It has no automatic obstacle avoidance. It has no active tracking and following. It's not a deal breaker for me, but if you need these features, you should consider other drones. However, it has some quick shot mode. Some of them can be used for faking a following shot or tracking shot. Now let's talk about the photo and video from it. Here are the resolutions it supports. Yes, it can't shoot slow motion, but it has 2.7K at 60 frames per second. And this is the setup I use the most because you can slow it down two times to get a smoother moving shot.
you can always get a beautiful image from it when the lighting is okay. But under low light, the image looks awful. Yep, it has the small sensor. In some scenes with higher texture density, like tree branches or grass, there will be a lot of mori patterns in the image. Since it has no color profile like DC like we can find from other DJI devices, the dynamic range on it is bad. It can't handle the backlight scenes well. But again, it's an entry-level drone. For small YouTubers like me, the image quality is fairly good and I don't care so much about the colors anyways. It's capable to taking raw photos and I'm very happy with the photo quality of it. It has plenty of rooms to do the post editing and you can totally print it out as a gallery level art piece. I have a good photo inkjet but I'm out of ink so I'm not gonna show you in this video. I'll make another video of printing drawn photos so stay tuned. Okay, let's talk about the regulations. In most countries, this drone doesn't need a registration or license to fly, but there are some regulations to follow. For example, here in France, you can't fly over crowd or settlement. You can fly above 500 higher. You can fly at night. You can fly with the drone out of your direct sighting, and you can't fly around historical buildings. And most importantly, I believe you need some sort of permission to shoot commercial videos with even this drone. Definitely check out your local drone regulation because this is always a high risk tool for video making. Okay, that's our video for today. Thanks for watching. Next, let's wait for the DJI Mini SE. So if you don't want to miss out the review of it, please consider subscribing. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. I will see you next time. Bye.